Hey folks, welcome to Scorched Earth Toys at Animoon.com's review of the MEP Toys 1-100 Scales and Trotty Commander Bree Tie figure. Am I allowed to call it MEP Toys? Eh, leave me a comment. This toy was released in January 2020 with an MSRP right around 20 US dollars. And if you like what you see, you can head to Big Bad Toy Store using that campaign link in the comments below to secure yours while showing your support for this channel. Bree Tie comes in a small attractive box that's a decided improvement over the blister card of the 80s Matchbox toy. Inside the box you'll find the big man as well as a plastic pipe, two pairs of fixed posed hands, and a Rick Pilot figure in his seat. Here is the included Rick Pilot figure in the ejection seat. You can see pretty nice paint job. Here's a comparison pick with other similar small scale pilot figures. You can see doing pretty well a little bit on the large side. If we took a Toynami VF1 he wouldn't really fit inside there, but I don't mind. I think it's a pretty small sin to get a nicer looking pilot figure. Now, putting him in the toy's hand is a little bit tricky. There's a hole behind the feet and the seat that you can rope a thumb through pretty easily, and that'll get you kind of the most secure fit. That's still not the best. I would have preferred there to be a grasping Rick hand, but I can make this work without too big of a problem. Now we also get optional hands, so I can take this hand and give it a firm yank and pop it out. You can see there's a ball joint, there's the socket. I've taken a hobby knife and trimmed that socket because I could almost not remove the hands originally. Then you get your inappropriate gesture hand, which looks like this. And we can go ahead and plug that in to the socket. And it'll be a nice firm fit. Again, it was too firm originally. And I have my plastic pipe, which I can put in there. And I also have, if I wanted to, I have fists, which exactly the same idea. Just pop it out, pop that in. Now I can take my pipe, I can take my toy, I could take a Ben Dixon toy, and I can clobber it over that. And there you have it. So there's your accessories that come with the toy. Let's see how it stacks up against the original Brie tie. Maybe you're thinking, hey, I got the Matchbox toy. Why do I need this? I'll let this image kind of speak for itself. You've got Matchbox Brie tie over here in all of his glory. And then the MEP toys version. Yeah, I'm going with MEP now. Uh, you can see Huge improvement in sculpt by Map Toys uh, versus this, I don't know, dark elf with ogre hands. Look at that hand. That is massive. Jeez. Uh, so, yes, this old Brie tie, terrible, terrible sculpt, but it does have some advantages over the newer toy here. Most all of them have to do with articulation. You can see this toy actually has, was intended to be an action figure. So it's got the shoulder joint, spins around. It's got a twist up here, an elbow that gets you that, that much motion. Um, head just twist, whatever. The legs actually have knees. So there you go, just a little bit of articulation there. Uh, but that minor articulation is more than we have over here this is really a standing figure to look good next to your more articulated toys you can rotate the head which is fine but it's not a ball joint and i was a little bummed by the fact they didn't give us other heads with other expressions like if, we, if i want to have him bashing ben dixon over the head he should look angry when he's doing it right should be a yelling face you can't cross his arms which would have been cool you know because Sometimes he's sitting there kind of trying to figure out what those Micronians are doing and it'd be nice to cross his arms, but you can't do that. You do have a shoulder joint and it does spin around. It can come out away from the body, so that's good. There is an elbow joint and the elbow joint has a twist. There's some molded uh, sleeve detail that you're gonna have to work around as you do this to figure out how far you can get. You saw the hands were ball joints, so decent enough, but not a whole lot going on there. If you're used to 112 scale figures, which are very similar in size, you would expect a whole lot more articulation than you get here. So it's it's definitely not something that's meant to compete with your action figures. Just enough articulation to get some utility out of it. 
the feet spin or the legs I should say twist but there's not really much motion to them in any other direction and you could see uh, if we look up Brita's skirt uh, you can see it's solid there so not a lot going on throughout the torso through the legs so just some arm articulation in the head and that's your play value. Britai stands about 15 centimeters or six inches tall, which you could see is a little shorter than the Kits Concept 112 scale Rick Hunter figure. So if you were thinking there's some sort of pairing that would happen there, probably not. A micronized Britai would be much bigger than Rick. So he's not a 112 scale micronized, if that was a thought. Uh, as far as VF1 toys that you would pair them with in dioramas, you could see Bandai's High Metal R is a little bit bigger than Toynami's 1100. If you did the math, Britai, the High Metal R are both right around 190 scale. The Toynami is a little closer to 1100 scale, not quite there. So that's how it's going to work out size wise on your shelf. So the toy isn't the most dynamic or exciting, but where it really adds value is if you've got some other toys and a display case or some sort of a diorama going. Here I've got the Fext Hobby Sci-Fi 03, which might not be a perfect substitute for a Zentradi ship, but it is pretty good. And you can have the scene from blind game playing out here. Max has Britai trapped. Ben's about to shoot his missiles, create that opening. And that's obviously a fun way to show off some toys. You can also do some crazier things. We could take Bree tie here and we can say pin Rick to the wall and he has thrown off his heat shield. I mean you can just have a ton of fun setting up dioramas. So while the toy itself isn't the most exciting, if you got some other toys and want to liven things up, it's a great way to do it. Check out my full article on anymoon.com, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.